Hello everybody, this is Phil the Graphic Guy and I wanted to show you a demo of this website here, TimelineCoverBanner.com. Uh, the reason why I wanted to show you and make you this demo was because I, I sent you the link to this yesterday. I wanted to give you guys a heads up about this is a free service to create neat timeline pictures uh, in here um, using their software, their online software, without using Photoshop or anything and a few of you had some questions so I'm going to show you a quick demo of how it works you get to timelinecoverbanner.com okay you don't need to click on any of their ads up here right down here it says first let's choose the banner background or you can come up here and then it says background gallery and stuff like that okay so let's choose this down here we'll click on it <clears throat> and you can choose from a whole bunch of their banners and they have pages and pages of them you can see right here um, different you know ones they've already set in with some neat images and stuff like that so if you have a client and you you can put their image right in here and then you can manipulate all kinds of text and things and add some cool graphics inside here as well okay but I'm gonna use the blank background the very first one here and I'm just gonna left click on that so it's gonna bring it up and this right here I'm just gonna click out of that because I'm just gonna use their tool okay so here we are and now I want to upload an image and I've already found an image just a generic image that I can use for this demo okay and I'm gonna to go to upload background that's on my desktop so I click on that and now I'm gonna find it it's like a stock family image Here it is a stock family I'm gonna open that and the reason why I chose this picture is because I can scroll I can I'm just using my mouse here to scroll up uh, this guy's this, I guess the father of this family, his face happens to almost be perfectly in the right place. But what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to incorporate um, <clears throat> the entire timeline image b banner here along with the profile pic so the two go together in case that's something that you're looking for. In this case, a, a giant picture like this works well. And if I resize this picture like in, in GIMP or, or something like that, um, I, I would be able to scoot this over so that his face is perfectly there or I could leave it like this and maybe even type in a few things and of text in here okay and here's your tools your eraser your arrow um, you got a paintbrush and you have your text so if I want to put text I just click here and I can put this is just a test okay so this is my text. Up here I can pick which font I want. There's a whole bunch of fonts. Okay, let's see what that changes to. And just pick any generic one for the sake of the uh, demo here. And the text size, get it bigger. Okay, the color I can change just by clicking here. Oops. Let's see. Uh, it's not holding up. It will. It's taking a second. The stroke color and the fill color. Most of the time these online um, sources, they, as you've seen in past demos, they give me trouble while I'm in Camtasia Studio. Um, typically when I'm on this site, uh, these features here aren't giving me any trouble at all. But I'm telling you, the minute I get on Camtasia, it's a different story. Anyway, you get the idea. I can change the color of the text and things like that um, just by using all these tools here. Okay. Now, I could save my timeline cover, which is this whole image here, or I can save my profile photo. I'll save both. All I have to do is just click on here, and it's going to save this image. I can click on here, and it'll save that image. You see, this is giving me trouble. Hopefully, it'll stop in a second. Um, the Adobe Flash plugin crashed. <clears throat> See, typically this doesn't happen. So what I'll do is I'm just going to press the back button here. Hopefully you guys get the idea of what I'm showing you here. Okay. Uh, once you do that, let's see if I can get that back up. Let me refresh this. Taking a few seconds. Okay, I don't want to share.
Okay. Here we go. Um, also, what I can do is you can come down here and you can add clip art, emoticons, um, any one of these. And what you do is let's add a banner frame, for example. I want to browse the frame, so I click on that. It takes me here. I can scroll down and let's see latest frames you know what let me go back these this is something that I may never use these these little frames here but let me go back you guys will probably end up adding maybe some clip art or some scrapbook art so let me browse the clip art instead alright just as an example I'll pick you know one of these here maybe it's Christmas time I want to add to editor so I click on there hopefully it will come up okay this little code here I'm gonna control C I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back to my main page my main banner here and right down here where it says add graphic I'm gonna control V and put that code in there and then I'm just gonna click add graphic and then this comes up now I got my little clip art in here so if I had a Christmas time you know banner thing that I was doing uh, I could add stuff like this and I could resize it just by clicking my left mouse button and I can turn it and of course I can add text and all that cool stuff in here you know or you know if it was a picture of myself in here I could put this on top of my head you know during Christmas time stuff like that okay so you guys get the idea um, another thing I wanted to show you this is a cool little thing here little add-on for your your Facebook um, business pages but what I wanted to show you as well was uh, this WSO that I came across today that you may be interested in because this is kind of the realm of what you guys are doing um, this is a, like a script that you can use to build instant fan pages. He calls it the instant fan page creator. Uh, I found this today on the Warrior Forum. <clears throat> and there's an, a really great example here of a fan page that um, this guy created right here. This Ali created using his uh, little script. And it's very easy, very easy to use. All you do is answer questions, pretty much, and at the end you press a button and it spits out what you need. Um, it's a nice demo here that you can click on and you can see for yourself. So if you get here, I'll send you guys the link to this. If you get here, you can see a live version of what he built using this software that he created. Okay, and it shows you exactly um, examples of what it does. Um, it gives you, you can create your, your, your banner here, your image, and then it creates these custom tabs here for you as well. And not only that, it helps you create automatic um, pages of content um, that are fed right into your new fan page that you just built. So it's just a few minutes. And he shows you some screenshots. He shows you the pages that it builds and right here it says how to build fan page in four simple steps you create a fan page takes two minutes insert three iframe tabs takes two to three minutes instant fan page or creator you use it this step takes two minutes copy and paste the code into facebook boom you have it so let's see an example of the chocolate recipe fan page that it came up with and here it is here, here's what it came up with here and if i were to click on one of these tabs that he created let's say for example um, chocolate news I click on that. Here's one of the pages that it just created. It uses like an RSS feed kind of thing. And then you put in your banner here for your affiliate kind of thing or an instant ebook download that you want to give away or you want people to download. And then here's all that instant content that it posts up to your fan page for you. So it's really neat and it just takes a few minutes to uh, build a fan page. And I thought that would be something you guys would really be interested in. So I'm interested in it. I think it looks this thing looks awesome. Okay. Let me get back to the page here. Right now it's only eleven dollars and ninety four cents and there's three left. Um he's saying that the regular price would be thirty seven bucks. I guess the dime sale can actually reach seventeen dollars. So it's been selling really well 
and um, it, it's it's doing really well on the Warrior Forum, and there's lots of people who are putting testimonies and things up there. But if you're interested in something like this, if this is the kind of Facebook work you're looking to do, um, come here to this uh, um, sales page here and, and give it, you know, give it a once over. Um, take a read through on that. All right, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.